perspective, what is the biggest trend in plant-based dairy today? You know, I think consumers are really looking to have a more healthy, balanced diet. We've seen a big shift towards more of a flexitarian lifestyle. So this is a lifestyle where you're not fully cutting out meat, I mean, not cutting out vegetables, it's a, a combination of both. And I think that's why we're seeing a real big uptick in uh, plant-based. The motivations behind this have to do, you know, first and foremost with health. The perceptions that plant-based dairy uh, might be better for you. A second and third reason might be ethical treatment of animals as well as being a bit more sustainability uh, produced. But beneath it all, without a doubt, the number one reason why this is trending so much lately, uh, especially like in the last five to ten years, is taste. What are some of the common misperceptions when it comes to plant-based dairy? You know, I think a lot of customers and consumers don't think that they're going to be able to achieve the same texture and sensory profile that they're used to with their animal counterparts. So being able to understand how to use starches, hydrocolloids, and work with these botanical proteins that have really come a long way, um, I think we're actually able to get to a similar texture. Even among plant-based dairy purchasers today, we have research that shows you know, there's still gaps compared to conventional dairy. For plant-based dairy, there's still the perception among plant-based dairy purchasers that taste is not quite there still. So there's still you know, jobs to be done in terms of improving that taste experience. And secondly, some of the nutritional aspects, and one of them is definitely you know, protein, protein fortification. You know, it's still a bit of a gap, or there's definitely the perception that there's a gap compared to conventional dairy. The customer that's maybe used to working with, you know, just dairy products that are just starting to venture into the plant-based space, they venture into it and they're just a little bit lost, right? And so I think from a Cargill's perspective, it's really their partner in getting and stepping into this new plant-based arena, and we're, you know, ready to fight for them. And I think it's an exciting, exciting thing to look forward to. From your perspective, what is the biggest trend in plant-based dairy today? Consumers used to just purchase almond or soy milk are now looking at blends or oat or things like that. And there's just going to be more ask and more need for more innovation in the area. They're not going to just want a one tomorrow replacement for their dairy yogurt. They want to want something new and exciting. We talked a lot about vegan cheese and how that's a fun area and exciting area. But I agree with McKenna in that a lot of our, our customers are coming to us asking how they can formulate hybrid products. So having uh, plant-based but also dairy uh, components of that formula to help really boost that protein level and to also help with uh, sensory profile. Innovation that's you know still lies ahead that uh, you know the market is demanding is solutions to help with taste, solutions to help with you know cleaning up the labels. Protein enhancement is definitely another one. And then I also see um, a lot of interest around you know how does plant-based dairy uh, become more you know, relevant and increase their penetration rates in food service channels. So be that you know, institutions like schools or you know, at coffee shops or cafes and being used by baristas in some of their you know, fancier uh, formulations and, and creations. We know Cargill's at the forefront of plant-based dairy innovation. Can each of you share one of the innovations you're most excited about? I mean, if you look at the size of different conventional dairy segments. It's milk and then it's cheese. And right now the penetration rates of plant-based cheese is less than 1% of overall uh, cheese sales today. Uh, so there's a big runway ahead for plant-based cheese and not just at retail, but especially like in food service channels. So think of cheese as an ingredient. Cheese, you know, that gets used as a, you know, a pizza topper and trying to mimic that from a plant-based standpoint. That's really exciting and we are investing in a big way in this. But you know, I wouldn't leave yogurt out of the formula there. Yogurt's a space that really has not developed as quickly as some of the other ones. I think they were quick to start and quick to get some good solutions out to the market, but now consumers are really begging and asking for the same health benefits of a dairy yogurt. And so getting it there is really key for Cargill as well.